Hello everybody. Yep, today's Friday. It's uh, three o'clock in the afternoon and it's very cloudy here in Florida. It has been for the last few days. But I want to start out, as you can see on both sides of me, this, with this, this, <laughs> is the finished blanket. I discussed it with Cheryl and it was getting so heavy. I wanted you all to see it. This is the finished blanket. Isn't it beautiful? This is the other side. It's quite large. It's like for a single bed, I would think. But you might see something there. See how large it is? So anyway, we I put a border. I put a border around it so that it would blend in with the other borders. And I'm going to get this shipped off to her. I wanted her to have it for Christmas. So I'm going to get that boxed up. So there's the blanket. And I'll bring you a little closer. And then if you see on this side, I'm making a pillow. And there's G for Goosey. So this is going to be one side of the pillow. And then the other side of the pillow is going to be in red and um solid red and solid blue. I'm going to alternate alternate the colors, but that's going to be on the other side. So, yeah, so it's um so I, I was going to make two. I might still make two, but I'm not sure, but um definitely this one and that'll go with the pillow. So that's that's all done almost. Just do the F Sorry, I got my thing on here and I'm wiggling it around. There we go. There we go. So, I got tea stained. I've been drinking a lot of tea and my teeth are stained. Um, okay. I got today um, from, Minnes from South Dakota. You know who you are. I got some hats. Oh, isn't that pretty? A beautiful hat in another one, much larger one, and a couple of gray ones for boys. Love it. The beanies. Thank you so much. I already got a box started over there, so these will go into that box that are going to be going. Um, thank you so much. You know who you are. Um, I got... Um, Oh, I got a beautiful, beautiful message from uh, Kids in Need Foundation from the president or whoever the guy is. He sent me a, a lovely message um, on the receipt of all the hats. And um, I sent the hats, you know, with the, the hoods and everything and um, scarves. And uh, he he was ecstatic. It, it just thought they were beautiful. It was I think it was like 140, 140 of them. And then I sent Judy those, a couple, two or three boxes, I think, to Judy. Three boxes, I think, I sent to Judy for the kids at the library. Um, I also got, have gotten a lot of cards. Um, and I'll share, I'll share some of these with you. I went through them, and, and they're just so beautiful. I just love these cards. And this is from, um, Kathleen from Massachusetts. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that card. I love cardinals. Seasons, greetings. May the spirit of season fill your heart with cheer. Merry Christmas. And she sent me ugh, some green tea. <laughs> I love green tea. Thank you so much. So I could put all my cards up. And then this one is from Susan. Isn't that pretty? Let it snow. No, don't let it snow down here. But wherever this is, this looks like a nice place with all the candy canes. And uh, wishing you all the joys of the season, Susan. And Susan is from Delaware. <clears throat> Look at this one. I love this one. Look at his scarf. Isn't that beautiful? 
Winterland. Wishing you peace, love, and joy for the holiday season. And this is from Linda Adams. Thank you, Linda. I love them, I love them, I love them. And I thought this was cute, too. And this is from New Hampshire. From Susan from New Hampshire. Wishing me a happy holiday. I love the bicycle with the gift on the back. Isn't that cute? And she put all these stickers. Look at the sticker there. Isn't that cute? That is so cute. So I'm going to put that on my thing. And this one's from Sandy. Oops. Wait a minute, Sandy. Look at this one. Isn't that cute? It's got sparkly stuff on it. And on the back, too. And this is Hope, um, Hope Happiness Decorates Your Holiday and Brightens Your... Left is Right Crochet with Sandy. And that's who this card is from. And look what she... I'm going to put this on my tree. A snowflake. Look at that, isn't it? Excellent job. Sandy, that's beautiful. That's going to grow on my teeny weeny little tree over there. And put that there so I won't forget to put that on. Thank you. I love your card. It's lovely. Ooh. And this is from my girlfriend from North Carolina, Miss Carrie Penny. And she makes her own. Isn't that cute? With the deer in the snow. Thank you, Carrie. And it says, Merry Christmas, Carrie Penny. Can she make, see, she makes her own. Thank you, Carrie. She puts Christmas tape on it and everything. And this one is from Azalea. Is it Azalea? From Ohio. Hope your holiday season decorate with lots of happiness. But isn't that cute? Look at that snowman. Snowman. And it says Merry Christmas across. Thank you so much. Now, this one was from Nikki's Crochet Nook in Texas. And Nikki, I can't find the card. I think I put it up on my, my little thing up there. But Nikki sent me it was a beautiful card. It's a beautiful card, but I think it's up there. I, you know, I'm losing things. You know, everything is is a mess around here. Let me get this. Let me show you. But she sent me some stitch markers. Look at these. Of course, every, I think everybody's got one of these with the yarn. Thing with the yarn on it. And then she sent me one with a butterfly. Maybe I could. Got a butterfly, isn't that pretty? And a tr life tree, life tree of life, pretty. And oh, look at this little, this is a turtle, and it's green, a little green stone, isn't that pretty? And she sent me a heart, pretty little heart. And she sent me a spoon. I need a spoon. I need my spoons. Thank you so much. And let's see. You saw the, and then there's a starfish in here. Whoops. God, I hope it does. Look at that. Little starfish. Thank you so much. I love them. I'm going to put them in my stitch marker thing. I love the spoon, the heart. All these are so precious. Thank you so much. I'll put this over here. And. This is from, this is from uh, my sister-in-law. She was married to my brother who passed away quite a few years ago. But she st every year she remembers me and she sends me a beautiful Christmas card. Isn't that gorgeous? Her Christmas cards are gorgeous. And her name is Virginia Mills, same as my last name. And um, a happy new year. But... It's just beautiful. But she always remembers me on Christmas. Always. And she lives up in um, St. Pete, Florida. And this is this card. That pretty the house. Very nice. And this is from Nikki. Nikki Crochet Nook. Nick, Nikki Crochet Nook. Isn't that pretty? 
and here's a this one's a cute one too and this one is from Wendy my buddy Wendy my crochet sister my friend Christmas warmth, uh, Christmas cheer, Christmas happiness all year. And that's from Wendy Wissa. And she sent me a, a package, and I'll show that to you in a minute. Isn't that a pretty? I love that card. That's very pretty. Thank you. Thank you, Cindy. And wait till you see this. This is from Anne. And she she's from Maine. May a joyful Christmas be yours this season. Thank you. It is, all you guys. But watch, now you see this one, right? Well, this is from Tracy. And uh, may you be surrounded by the beauty seas and joys of the holiday. Wishing you a very Merry Christmas. And this is um, loopy, loopy Crochet and Treasures. Look at that. Same card. Isn't that cool? <laughs> and look what she sent me. A wreath. Beautiful wreath that she made. And she said you, I could pin it. And if I, had a, if I had a coat, if I wore a coat, I'd pin it. But if you don't mind, I'm going to put it on my Christmas tree with my other stuff. Thank you so much, Tracy. Beautiful. And this card is from Rebecca in Missouri. Enjoy the holiday season knowing you are thought of kindly, prayed for faithfully, and treasured in heaven and on earth. And she is a beginner. She's a knitter and a beginner crocheter. But here's her card. Oh, come all ye faithful. Isn't that a beautiful scene? That gorgeous thank you so much and if you need any help you let us know we'll help you with anything crochet related or you know this is from Debbie from Louisiana Christmas wishes place money on card no I'm sorry may all the warmth and joy of Christmas be yours Merry Christmas Happy New Year's Debbie beautiful card thank you so much Oh, and this one I love. This is from Cindy Kinney. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Thank you, Cindy. And Cindy's from Maine, I think. M-E, is that Maine? M-I is Maine. M-E is... Whew. I don't know, I'm getting confused on all my... M-E's and M-I's. No, M-I is, M-N is Minnesota. M-I is Michigan. M-E must be Maine. So thank you for all the beautiful cards. You know, I got a, got a whole bunch already, and then I got all these, and it was just so nice. Then, Wendy sent me a box of some material. Just some beautiful um, deck material, maybe to make, um, she said I could, Knowing me, I could make some stuff out of it. And it's really some pretty, pretty material. So I'm real happy with that. Thank you so much, Wendy. You better believe. I think they'll make some pretty pillows out of some of this. Um, I'll show you my favorite. Where's my favorite? Come here. This is my favorite. Isn't that pretty? Very nice. Thank you so much, Cindy. I mean, Wendy. God, my name. Okay, so now I can put that up. And I've gone over the And my next project, um, these are the uh, un, uh, Unravel Mitten squares. And I only have 19. I've got five that I need to finish. So that's going to be uh, one of my sit-down projects. And I have a couple other things I need to do, too. Um, I have not, besides finishing the blanket up and doing this, I haven't gotten anything else. I've been waiting for um, 
some yarn to finish that sweater that I started that I've showed y'all a couple times. I haven't got that yarn yet. I thought it was supposed to be here yesterday. Uh, I guess I'm losing my mind. Uh, the other thing I wanted to talk to you about is the um, is the winter carousel. Uh, we have five five people in in Canada, and um, we um, we I've got all your um, your emails. And I've got the list. Now i got to figure out where you're located and all that. And I think we have two in British Columbia, so that's nice. But what we thought we would do, um, ladies, is Cheryl, we thought we'd do a double whammy on you guys. Because you, you get so left out. And it's up to you if you want. And we'll send it to you if you don't want to do any. If you don't want, if you don't agree to this, let me know. What we thought we'd do is... I'm going to go geographically across to see where you're located and from east to west, okay? So um, I'm going to send a box, and I'll start on the east, and then Cheryl will send a box and start from the west. And then, I don't know, somebody in the middle might get two boxes at one time. But we thought it would be fun. That way you have two boxes that you can play with, and we'll be... We'll, we'll keep it, you know, as compact as we can so that I know the, um, the shipping is so expensive there. But if you don't want, if you prefer not to have one box or the other, or if you just like one box and not two, we, we thought it would be fun for one to start one end, and then that way you'll have the advantage of getting two. It's like a, a yarn swap. You'll be getting two boxes to play with. So... That we've got uh, five, five of you, and uh, that will, we will get this going very soon since we've got all the responses. So that's great. Now the uh, the local the United States of America, we have still got some people missing that haven't responded, and tonight makes for a week. We will give you until noon on Sunday. If we haven't heard from you by then, we will go on Sunday night and we'll pick new people to replace the people that haven't responded. And I'll tell you, on my team, the people that haven't responded is Debbie Van Kirk, and I've sent messages to these people, to, to these people that haven't responded. Christie's Creations hasn't responded. Aaron Morrison hasn't responded. Abigail Santina has not responded, and neither has Judith Geminis. If y'all could send me an email with your mailing um, information, or if you don't want to be in the carousel, please let us know one way or the other. But if I haven't heard from you by Sunday at noon, we will, we will pick five new people. On Cheryl's team, she hasn't heard from, or haven't heard from, Kept in Stitches by Julie, Melody Stallings, Cynthia May, and we have one that has canceled, and so we will definitely be picking one more, and um, so we'll be a week behind in getting this, because once we pick the new ones, we'll um, need to get we do want to make it 20 at least. So, um, so that's who we need to hear from. So you got till Sunday at noon. Isn't that fun? I almost got all my Christmas cards done. Um, it hasn't been easy. You know, I didn't. Well, they're not, they're not beautiful cards, but they're thoughtful from me. They're from my heart. Uh, just to wish y'all a happy holiday. And um, I've got my feet, my leg propped up. Yeah, it's, uh, it hurt real bad last night. And I took, I'm like Sandy. I took my last, um, took my last pain pill last night. But I've had three, three prescriptions filled on that. I don't want any more pain pills. They do upset my stomach. 
So I'm finished on the pain pills. Uh, but I have been taking some Tylenol, uh, arthritis Tylenol, which is, it does help. But anyway, it's getting better every day. I just get discouraged, but you know, it gets better. Um, what else have I, uh, I've been working on, um, uh, I've been working on this. Remember, I was working on this when I was in the hospital. Well, I'm on the second the second half. And once I get this done, then it'll be easy peasy after that. So I'm, I'm moving along on this. I've got one side done, and this is the second side. So I pick this up every now and then and work on that. So I have been working on that. It's a work in progress. What else is a work in progress? I want to get my squares done. And I think what I'm going to do on this it's when I get these squares done. This, you know, some of these squares, I don't know. I might just pick out the ones I like and make a blanket. But I was thinking about doing a raffle for the blanket. But we'll see. Um, just to help with the shipping of the hats to the kids. I still want to send some up to, I'm getting a box now for the Appalachian Outreach. And for, um... can't think of the other group can't think what it was but anyway yeah I'll get it I'm gonna try to get as they come in I'm gonna pack them up and we'll get that another some more box I like to get the boxes out I like to get one out before Christmas I haven't heard from Judy yet but I hope she got the boxes that I sent her so that's that's basically it that's that's all she wrote. I haven't done anything else exciting. Just taking one day at a time, hoping that this old knee, I mean, it's still quite swollen and it's, um, it just feels like raw meat. I can't help to say that, but it does. It just feels like some raw meat. Oh, God. But I had a little temperature last night, like 99. And, uh, sorry. So that's it, guys. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. You, the blanket is going out from everybody. The pillow, hope to get, I'm going to get that uh, done today. Uh, I got to make, I got to go and get the, um, what I'm going to do is get some material to make to stuff it with and then put this on the outside of it so I gotta do a little measuring and all that stuff so I'll get that done but yeah so we got to um, you know get a few that is a finished object almost at least the blanket the blanket here is finished for sure okay and I have enough I have enough that I can make another blanket I told her she could let Chucky use that <laughs> Or the dogs or cats, whatever. But oh, oh, okay. I'm losing my my track. My um, you know, I've been having these brain brain farts. <laughs> I guess I, my mind goes bananas. Uh, it's because I'm not I'm not able to do a lot, so my brain gets like mush. Ugh. So anyway, that's it. I'm going to end this, and um, I'm sure this weekend, I hope you have a nice weekend. Lots of parties are probably going on. Have a great time. Um, I have been trying to watch a few podcasters here and there, but I end up falling asleep most. But last night, let me tell you, last night, I went to bed, and I, and for some reason, I, I had my laptop. I left it here on um, the couch. And all of a sudden, I hear Sandy A. talking. I said, I've already watched. What in the world is going on? Well, I guess I forgot to power down the computer when I went to bed. And Rosie's in here on the couch listening to Crochet A. <laughs> and when I went to turn her off, Rosie looked at me and went, meow. I went, hey, listen. I want to go to bed. I don't want to sit and listen to Sandy again. I just listened to her. 
But it was so funny. She's in here watching crochet A. I'm telling you. She must have hit something. You know, had to do with the computer and triggered it on. And But the screen was black. But it, Sandy was just babbling like a brook man. And, and Jesse. I mean, Rosie's just sitting here. Just chat. I know you hear me call Rosie Jesse. Jesse was my cat before I got Rosie. And uh, he died, he was six years old. He was a Maine Coon. He was the sweetest, most adorable, lovable cat I had ever had. And um, he, one day, um, when I lived before, I had a lanai. And he came off the lanai and he started running around. And all of a sudden he started dragging his legs. And it was just so sad. He died of a heart attack right there in my arms. I'm telling you, it would just it it went very quickly. It just tore me up, and I think about him all the time. That was that was one of the hardest. I mean, I've had some hard losses with my animals, but Jesse was one of the hardest. And uh, and my first my first Charlie, my first cat when I was much younger, lived to be 19, and that was that was a hard one to take. That was really hard, but um, oh, that was tough. But I end up calling Rosie Jesse a lot, and I know it's a slip of the tongue. So anyway, I'm going to say I'm going to go hang my wreath, and I'm going to go hang my snowflake on my tree. And I probably, you know, I could hang my sitch markers on the tree, too. It's real little, but I bet it would be cute. Wouldn't that be cute? Oh my gosh, what a great idea, Billy. Oh my gosh, I'm so smart. I might do that. I'll show you a picture of it if I see what I decide to do. Okay, thank you so much for all my little gifts. I, I appreciate them so much. And all your cards. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And hopefully um, we will have a... Um, um, my mind just went blank. I'll talk to you guys later. What the hey? Oh, I gotta move. I gotta get up. I can't sit too long. My knee gets stiff. So I gotta move around. I'm, I've been trying to walk a little bit more. Walk out in the hallway. Walk outside a little bit. It's cloudy. I don't know what the weather's like. But maybe I'll try to walk a little bit. I'll go hang my cards. Put those out here. I'll go hang my cards in my thingamajigum. If I got any more room, I may have to start putting up somewhere else. Yes, the picture behind me is crooked. Yes, it sure is. But when you got bad knees, you can't get on the couch and straighten up anything. So it just stays crooked. <laughs> you wouldn't believe all the pictures in this house that are crooked. Too high, crooked. But once I get back on my feet, things are going to get straightened out here. <laughs> oh, you guys, this is so much fun. Okay, I'm going to, I need to do laundry, yeah. I was telling, uh, I don't know if Sandy got it or not, but I, I wrote, Sandy A, I wrote her a message, told her that I was running, I ran out of small clothes. I don't know if you read historical novels or not, but that's what you call your underwear and stuff. Uh, small clothes so oh yeah you wouldn't believe I see three and that's four that's seven eight nine ten eleven I have read a dozen books and I got three on my bed now that I started it just depends on if I get into one really well then I pick it up and I'll finish it but yeah I've been reading a lot it seems to keep my mind occupied when I can't sew but hopefully it doesn't seem to have gotten as swollen as it did before, you know, like last week, but I'm still not taking any chances. I still keep it propped up. Um, it just, it's just so raw. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll see you later. And, um, what was I going to say? I think that's it. I'll talk to you later. Anything exciting happens, I'll let you know. Don't hold your breath, though. <laughs> Bye.